Hi, I'm Tom and in this quick tip for FreeCAD I will show you how to reset toolbar positions in FreeCAD. As you can see in this example I completely messed up the positions of all of my toolbars and instead of moving them one by one I want to reset them to the default positions. I will show three ways of resetting the toolbars. One is to delete parameters from within FreeCAD. The second one is to delete FreeCAD config file. And the third one is to delete registry keys, which is uh, only applicable in Windows. You have to be careful because deleting FreeCAD config file will reset all of your FreeCAD settings, not only the toolbar position. The same goes with the registry keys. So let's get to the first option to delete parameters from within FreeCAD. So I will switch back to FreeCAD and I will to reset these. I will go to tools and edit parameters. And here I will go to the tux group and I will go to persistent toolbars group and I will delete this group. So I will hit the delete key FreeCAD uh, asks me whether I really want to remove this group. I will say yes, close this and now I have to restart FreeCAD and watch that these uh, toolbars which are applicable only in the draft workbench, the draft workbench toolbars will be reset but the toolbars which are uh, core toolbars like this one and this one uh, they won't be reset by this. So now I will close FreeCAD, open it again. And once FreeCAD is open, I will go to the draft workbench, which I had uh, opened previously. And now you could see that uh, these toolbars, which are uh, draft workbench toolbars are reset but these the core ones are not reset by this. So to reset the core toolbars I will delete FreeCAD config files. Uh, there might be a better option but I don't know how to reset these uh, other, um, in, in any other way. So to find the, uh, the FreeCAD core, the FreeCAD config files uh, I will first open the Python console to find where my config files are saved. And I will use this command, the app get user app data there and the uh, empty argument. So I will copy it, paste it here, hit enter, and this will return the location of the, of the uh, config files, which is on Windows, this location. So I'm going to open the location, it's uh, local disk, users, the name of the user, app data, roaming, freecat, and you have got the system config file and user config file. First what I will do is I will close freecat and now you can back up these config files or you can just delete them. So I will delete them and be careful, this will delete all your user settings. So now if I if I start FreeCAD again, you can see that it's opened as if it was the first, uh, as if it was the first time I I'm opening FreeCAD. And now, if I go to the draft workbench, you can see that uh, that my uh, toolbars are reset to the original positions. So this should be usually enough, but it happened to me that even removing the config files wasn't enough to reset all of the toolbars. So I had to go and delete the regist registry keys on Windows. I don't know how this works on Linux or Mac, but this is the third option. So if you want to delete the registry keys, I will close FreeCAD and the registry keys are these ones. So I will open my uh, register, register editor, register editor. So uh, the Windows register editor, I have to do that as a super user. And here 
I will go to the computer H key current user so it's this one software so I will search software it's here and then FreeCAD group which is this one you can either delete just this registry key or you can also delete this one so I will remove the whole one so I will right click hit delete and confirm the deletion I will close the register editor and now if I open the open the FreeCAD again hopefully all of the all of the toolbars should be reset unfortunately all of my other settings that I set in my preferences are reset to the default default ones as if I started FreeCAD for the first time. I hope this was useful and I will see you in the next one.